right welcome everyone to this um, tutorial where we are going to look at uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying to answer a question that was raised by 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 one of the the, the teachers in, in Uganda in the ICT teachers WhatsApp group um, the person was like um, he wants to know how the VLOOKUP is the VLOOKUP function is used in Microsoft Office Excel to perform calculations like grading students marks and then the rest so here I have a sample of um, a um, uh, work typed inside a, a spreadsheet so here I have um, grades of certain students but I I have not put the marks of the students so that's what I'm just going to do shortly so um, uh, let me assume some marks here like maybe 78 89 uh, maybe I'll say 65 64 49 uh, 9 sorry 90 and then yeah I'll just use three students for the tutorial uh, 13 uh, 44 then science I'll also put there uh, 20 then 78 then 80 right so these are just marks of students that we are recorded after their performances these are primary students that we are that did there it can be end of term can be mid of term exams that were recorded by their class teachers so here we are what we are interested in finding is the, the aggregate the person obtained in each subject before we even go to the aggregate so uh, we can find the aggregate using two options one is by use of the if e function of course uh, which we are not handling now in this video so um, we are looking at the VLOOKUP function how it is um, is used to get obtain the aggregate of each person now when you're using the VLOOKUP you must make sure that you have something that looks like this highlight I have highlighted which is the grading scale you can't grade students performances when you don't know their grading scale okay which scale are you using to grade so when you look at my grading scale it's not something like uh, very accurate it's not something that is used in most schools like, like that because when you see my grading is uh, 70 to 100 is about d1 so i don't think uh, many schools use that so i've just used that for the purposes of this video so uh all in all grading scales look like something that you are seeing right now here so what you do now is that much as we are going to begin using the vlookup function to get this aggregate we are not going to use the grading scale the way it is here okay so if it is like this we have to change it we have to manipulate how it is being displayed to a different format although we are not going to change much but we're going to just change certain things a few things now here we need uh, three columns okay now this f9 uh, these values we are going to transfer them to this other this other uh, column on the right so what you do we just have to select them and then we can cut them so when you cut them we just bring them here okay so when you bring them there you see that the the borders have disappeared so let's just highlight and bring back the borders so highlight and then just come and click this so that the borders come back so you see we have migrated the, the aggregates from here to there because we want some space here now these ones are written in a form where they are treated as text characters they are not treated as numbers they are not treated as number data types because number data types in excel are aligned on the right hand side of a cell so these ones are on the left hand side of the cell because they 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 have a symbol in the middle of them so what you do since we are saying this one is from 0 up to 34 we shall just leave the 0 there and then 
we migrate the 34 just right here the same to this 35 here then 39 there okay the same to this 40 and then 44 there the same to this 45 this one is 49 the same to this this is 50 sorry to 54 this one is 55 to 59 this one is 60 to 64 this one is 65 to 69 and then this one can say it's 70 to 100 so you see we have not changed any value from the former grading scale that we had before but what you have just done is we have just changed how the grading scale was right was written okay so you see now that our numbers are aligned on the left on the right hand side of the cell and then the text and the uh, alphanumeric uh, uh, data types are just on the left hand side so what we do now is our grading scale is now ready for usage by the VLOOKUP. Now what we do is we are going to begin finding the aggregate that Gerard scored in mathematics. 56, where does it lie? Okay, so when you look at our, just by looking at, having a look at our grading scale, we shall see that 56, someone who gets 56 will get uh, about um, credit 4, okay? Now, what Excel will do, the vertical lookup uh, is, is that Excel will come and then we'll check the, the, the table. So when it checks, it checks the table to check for a value that is yes, yes. next to, to 46, to 56, oh, sorry, just yeah, vertically from here, 0, 35, like that, like that. Uh, I'll explain this just after we get the answer. So let's first begin right to the, the view lookup. So when we come here, um, we shall say equal sign, of course, just like any other function would be written. We begin with an equal sign, and then after that, you put the view lookup function name, and then you shall open the parenthesis. So when you open that parenthesis, you will see the syntax, the rule of writing the VLOOKUP, where we see the next thing after opening the function name, which is VLOOKUP, you will have to, to, to write the lookup value. So now the lookup value is the number that we are going to force Excel. We are going to ask Excel to go to the table and then look for that very number in the table. So what we want, the number we are looking for in that grading scale table is 56 and 56 is in cell c2 so if you are good with writing cell addresses you can write there c2 or you just come to the cell where 56 is located click there so that you see c2 written right there so when once you, we write that we place a comma because that's why the, what the syntax tells us that we put a lookup value the value we are looking for in the grading scale table so after writing that the next thing the syntax tells us is the table array. That means we need to define that table where the lookup value is going to be looked for there. So what we do now is um, we come to the grading scale table on the right. And then we can highlight everything in this table, excluding we, we, we don't highlight, we leave out the title which says grading scale so we begin from where zero is up to where the d1 is so you see i have highlighted the whole table from here to there so when i highlight that as i was, I was highlighting you will see that the range the table range of the high highlight i've made is written just right here so you see the selection is from q5 up to q13 okay now from here what you do is that you need to lock these cells so that because I don't have much time to keep on calculating each person's aggregate for each subject that he did. So what I will do, I will just calculate for one and then I'll just use, use the autofill handle to copy the same uh, function downwards to other cells so that they automatically generate the aggregate. Okay. 
okay of those other people down there so what i need to do is that i need to lock the cell so that the range does not adjust so after typing this i'll press the f4 key on my keyboard f4 okay like that so once i press the f4 key you will see that the uh that column o is locked using a dollar sign the row 5 is locked using a dollar sign that q is also locked and then row 13 is also locked so we are locking this selection where the table that has the grading scale is because we don't want it to adjust it is static okay what can adjust will be the lookup value because when you copy the same formula downwards that means uh the rest of the the, the lookup values will change because what Edith got is not the same as what Gerard got up there. So after doing this, the, the syntax says you put a comma like I've just done. Once I put a comma, the next thing is the column index number. Now, if Excel comes to this very table and then looks for 56, where 56 can fall, okay, it can be exactly 56 or it can be the nearest value to 56. Once it gets 56, we are saying that, according to us, we saw that 56 can be within here, 55, 60, there, at least somewhere here, okay? So between 55 and 60, I see that 55 is the nearest number to 56, okay? Now, once Excel finds that, okay, 56 lies just exactly here, okay? Now, what will Excel have to display to you? Okay. Now you'll see that where 56 can lie, we shall have in that very row, there are three columns. So that's why now they're asking, when I find 56, assuming I find it right here, what should I display? So we are going to say three, the under column index, we're going to come here and then we type three like I've just typed. Why have I typed three? Because once it gets 56 around here, it has to count the number of columns in that very row where 56 lies so this is column number one this is column number two and then this is column number three where c4 is so we want c4 to be the one to be returned we know that 56 is already here yes so don't display for me 56 but display for me c4 okay that's what i put here the column the next number column three so after doing that press a comma then the final thing is to state whether you want Excel to look for exactly that figure, that lookup value, or you want it to look for at least an approximate match, a figure that is almost next to the lookup value you have stated. So here we can say true, just come and double click to, or you can write it. So you see, you have written it, and then you can go ahead and close your uh, parenthesis. So we are done. We are done writing that and then you can just press enter or you can just come and click this uh, icon. So you click it, you see Gerard has a C4 in mathematics. So once you get the rest, we just come here, place the cursor on the autofill handle, hold down the left mouse button, drag downwards. You see Edith got D1, Brian got a D1. So this one you can also copy, just right click and copy, come here to English, right click and paste, okay, when you paste, also drag that down, okay, right click copy, come to SST, right click paste, also you copy those ones down, okay, right click copy, come to science, right click paste, and then you can also drag that down so thanks for watching um i hope this video becomes helpful to anyone who is watching outside there so uh, i i'm so much grateful for your support always that you are giving us on this channel i urge you to subscribe hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't get a chance of missing any video that is uploaded on this YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Jobless.